Elaine Love here. ElaineForSuccess.com Remember the old melodramas? Enter the villain. It's writer's block. You're sitting there staring at either a blank computer screen or a blank piece of paper. And it just doesn't do anything. It's like it's laughing at you. The easy way to solve writer's block is just start writing. I don't care if you're writing gibberish. Almost every accomplished professional author faces writer's block. It just happens. You sit down and the idea just isn't there. So they start writing gibberish. Then an idea starts to form, and a storyline comes, a theme, and away you go, and then you're fine. Once you've written, put it down, walk away. Go get a cup of coffee, glass of water, whatever works for you. If it's a cup of coffee, let it cool. It gives you a little time. Then go back to what you've written, and you're probably going to delete the first two or three paragraphs. That's okay. The delete button's real easy. Boop, boop, and it's gone. But then you go through and you tighten it up. Take out the unnecessary words, exchange a word here and there for something with a little better meaning. Maybe you'll delete a whole sentence as you go on. That's okay. Then once you have edited it yourself, then go to your own software right there on your computer. Personally, I write on the computer. Some people like to write with pen and paper. Wayne Dyer is an incredible author. He prefers to write by hand. Do whatever works for you. But if you've written on the computer, then you have software right there in your computer that will help you with a thesaurus to give you different words. It will help you with spelling. It'll help you with grammar. Now, I'm a PC person, so I use Microsoft Word, and I go up to Tools. I click on Tools, and there's everything there to help me. Once I have edited it myself, gone through the software and the computer and edited. If I'm writing a really important piece, I also have someone else read it. You see, Dan Kennedy is a renowned copywriter, and he said he can read his own material a hundred times and never see an error. But let him read somebody else's, and the errors just literally jump off of the page at him. You see, when we write, we read what we expected to say instead of sometimes the letters that are really there. So if you're writing something really important, hand it off to someone else. Have them read it. Be certain they're reading the same things you thought you were writing. I've written things and had Brenda read them, and she said, I don't know what you meant here. And I go back and look at it with fresh eyes and go, you're right. I need to clarify that. There's writers groups. There's all sorts of people available to help you. Writer's block does not have to be a catastrophe. It's really okay. I have many, many, many more resources in my article. Come talk to me. I'm Elaine from Colorado. Elaine4success.com. Make it a great day.